signaling, you know, looking to a different lane, lane changing. Nowadays, it's becoming a bit harder as cars have gotten bigger pillars and it's a bit hard to see out of the window because, you know, cars have gotten safer. So this means seeing out of it can be a bit difficult. So what has been done to address the situation? Blind spot monitoring and blind spot assist. So what is it exactly? So as its name implies, it monitors and assists your blind spots while you're driving. So if you've driven a car for quite some time, you know that your blind spots are behind, in between the rear windows, uh, rear window and the rear door. So that pillar at the back there, the quarter panel there, that is essentially that's where your blind spot is. Also in pillar in front. So what it does is blind spot monitoring is it's a series of sensors inside your tail lamps where it will warn you through various forms of ways either by a sound, a light or some tactile feel on the steering wheel saying that okay there's something at your blind spot you should be careful when you make a lane change or if you have cars with assist uh, equipped what it does is it will actually veer you off the lane to stop you from any incoming or impending danger. So yeah, that's it's quite simple and it's quite straightforward. In today's episode of The Driver's Seat, we're gonna take you to the driver's seat of a 2019 Toyota Vios, which is equipped with a basic version of blind spot monitoring. So we're gonna show you how it works and what other additional things that it can do to help you drive a lot safer on the road. Let's check it out. Alright, now we're in the 2019 Vios, like I said, it has blind spot monitoring. It also has rear cross traffic alert, which is basically an alerting system which usually comes with blind spot monitoring. Basically what it does is when you're parked in a place where there are cars from side to side, let's imagine that there are cars side to side, when you're reversing out, it's a bit hard to see. So this uh, RCTA, as it's abbreviated, it will warn you of impending cross traffic coming your way, whether it's a car or a bike or more advanced systems, you can detect even people as well. So let's just pretend that there are cars from side to side right here right now. I'm putting my car in reverse right now. And it's gonna be a bit hard for me to, you know, to look out and stuff like that, you know, because of, you know, all these thick pillars and so on. So I have a 360 camera as well. So I'm just gonna reverse out, slowly out, slowly out. Let's say I can't see and the RCTA right there will pick it up and it will warn me that you know, there's a car coming in my way so that I don't cause an accident. So yeah, that's how it works. Now moving on to blind spot systems. Okay, right now we're in the 2019 Vios. It has uh, blind spot monitoring is always on all the time. So you don't have to worry about it turning off unless there are some cars which have the option of turning it off completely or you know some other features like that. Uh, I'll talk about that more later. So right now I'm gonna show you how it works. So I have Fitri on the other car right now. So Fitri, can you hear me? Yes, can hear you. Alright, so please uh, be on my blind spot right now. Alright, coming from your right. Alright, so Fitri is going to come on my right right now. I'm going to make a lane change. So he's at my blind spot right now. So I can't really see him. So let's say if I put my signal on. Oh, Fitri need to be a bit closer. Okay, there we go. Alright, so yeah. Now Fitri is on my blind spot right now. Okay, so yeah. So it's beeping like crazy right now. It's telling me I can't make a lane change safely. So Fitri, can you accelerate in front? Alright, coming. Alright. So again, it's telling me that uh, there's, a, there's a car on my blind spot and so on. So now Fitri has left me. So now I am safely able to make a lane change without the risk of hitting someone in my blind spot. So yeah, it's a very simple system. It works very well. You know, uh, you know, better cars work more, you know, a lot better. Uh, these simpler cars have a, a bit of a basic kind of system because, you know, it, it can only just beep at you very, very loudly. Uh, some cars uh, have more advanced style systems but yeah it works well you know and it works uh it also works for motorbikes which is very important in malaysia because you know motorbikes come from every direction so yeah very simple very straightforward so there you have it so i've driven the car like i said it's very straightforward you try to turn into a lane the sensor picks up that there's a, something in your blind spot it warns you it beeps at you you don't go into that lane and if you do you might get into some kind of trouble so like I said just now, this is a very simple system in the Vios that I test drove just now. Um, newer cars or cars of different price points may have more advanced system where it just doesn't beep at you annoyingly like how the Vios does it. So you know, if you play your cards right, if you choose the correct car, you might get a very um, customizable blind spot monitoring and assist where you can set the, 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 the sensitivity of how you want it to monitor your blind spot. So, 
it's a lot of customizations when you have these kinds of technology in a car itself and yeah it's safe it's perfectly safe you know it's been proven and driving in Malaysia you, everyone knows that there's bikes coming left and right so it's it's a really good system for you to be very wary that you know there are bikes or other types of vehicles that might come barreling at you behind you and you might not be able to see so that's a good thing so you know if you're getting a new car consider you know a car that has blind spot monitoring and assist uh, equipped you know most local cars have it like Produa. Um, I believe most of them, most of the lineup has, has, it, has it all. And you can look at secondhand cars that might have these features. So yeah, so that's the end of this episode for the driver's seat. And as always, if you like what you see, what we do, lock the like button and roll over that subscribe button. And you know, check out our social media platforms to see what you like and what you want to see, what we will be coming up in the next couple of weeks and months. Thank you again and you know, enjoy your day. Drive safe.